guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day so in today's video i am so excited to jump in and first of all remember all the stuff that i got from the shop and try it all on for you today i have done a huge haul from primark and it is my absolute favorite time of year to just kind of get stuck into the autumn knitwear autumn dressing boots tights dresses all of that i am absolutely all here for it it is my favorite time of year for fashion, for food, for everything, activities. Like, this, this is the time of year, honestly. I think it's so underrated and I'm glad to see that more people are starting to feel more like autumn is the month to be in because it's the best. Anyway, I have been in Primark. I've got three huge bags. One bag of things that I actually forgot about. I've done a little blooper. Um, just with a few items in it. I think there's maybe one or two things in here. And then these bags are absolutely bursting with a lot of the new end stuff. And a couple of things from the Stacey Solomon collection as well. If you guys love watching Primark hauls, then please make sure you get comfy. Because I feel like this might be a long one. Get yourself comfy. Grab yourself a cuppa. Get cosy under a blanket. And I really, really hope you enjoy watching this video. I used to do Primark hauls every single month. And for this month, I don't know. I feel like I built it up too much. I was really worried that it wasn't going to live up to expectations. And I must admit, as much as I've done really well today, there were quite a few things that I couldn't really take home because they never had my size. So there was a couple of jackets that they either had in like an 18 or an 8. It was kind of, they never really had any in between sizes, which was a bit disappointing, but I'm really pleased with what I managed to find. I feel like I'm going to put it into little piles just now, just so we're organised, because I don't want to show off things in different orders, so just, just give me a second. But I'm all sorted and ready to go, and obviously with this being a try-on haul, it is as much of a surprise to you as it will be to me. As it is a try-on haul, I've literally just ran around, grabbed some things that caught my eye, and I'm looking forward to styling them together with some things I already have at home as well, like shoes, accessories, etc. So, buzzing to do this little show and tell. Also, on that note, I know I'm totally going off on a tangent, which is usually how I start off all my videos, but did anyone used to do this when they were younger, that you would go to the shops, get some stuff with your mum and dad, and then go home and lay it all out, and then do like a little fashion show? I feel like that is literally what my life has become. This is my job now, how crazy is that? So, the first thing that caught my eye when I went in there were these absolutely, I mean, gorgeous, cream leather trousers. Now I don't know if you guys have seen these but I feel as if I cannot escape these kind of style of trousers on Instagram. They're kind of like joggers. They're obviously leather and a bit more structured than a jogger but that kind of style like relaxed fit it's just so nice. I don't know if these are high waisted or not. I've not obviously tried them on but I did size up in these because they looked quite narrow so I'm wondering what they'll look like on in the legs as well because obviously it'll be bigger on the legs so we shall see but I could definitely cinch them in with this little buckle here on the belt. Really really cute. I just love these. I think they're very Zara and because I couldn't really resist these they're only £15 I decided to pick them up in black as well because that's just what happens in there. If you see something nice and it comes in more than one colour, you end up just buying two. Am I the only one? Please say I'm not the only one that does this. Um, I absolutely love these and I've got a little top that I was going to put with it as well. So I think I might just try and show you the things in outfits rather than just showing you the individual items. So these trousers were £15 and if they fit nicely will be a total bargain. Then from the Stacey Solomon collection, I seen a few things, but this was the one thing that I was like, wow, I need, need to get this. It is so soft, like honestly, so, so soft. It gives me proper clueless vibes with that nice check. It's so nice. I love this kind of, I don't know what you call this material, but it's like really fuzzy. It's kind of, it's chenille. It's chenille. I've actually had a brainwave there. It's chenille and I just absolutely love this. So this was £13 and I got it in a medium because I don't want it to be too oversized. But I thought this with the cream trousers would just look so, so nice. Cause it's quite similar to like the tones there, do you see? I think that'll look so gorgeous together. And I think that even with like some nice chunky white trainers and then a trench coat, oh, that just looks so nice. Cannot wait to try this on. It's definitely my kind of jumper. Big baggy sleeves, all those kind of peachy tones as well are so cute. Love them. And yeah, we'll see how long I can keep the collar of this white for. Probably about as long as this one. <laughs> now, I've just realised I've properly pulled these in like really really tight at the waist because these are actually too big for me like 
this, there's too much material around here and I feel like it's just not a very flattering fit. Like I know they're meant to be relaxed but I don't really know. Maybe it's the jumper that just doesn't look right because it's too boxy on top. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I do like them. I think they're lovely trousers and I think that they're really nice material and I think they're good for the money but they are like, I've really, really pulled these in and they're still quite baggy around here so I don't know, every time I go to sit down I feel like all this air just puffs up inside them. I don't know, I'm kind of undecided. I don't know if it's just because this doesn't really, it's not going as much. Maybe I should try on a different top first before I definitely make my decision. And then something else I got to go with that jumper but will also go with other items that I've got is this little leather skirt. You can tell what kind of like material I like for this time of year. I love a bit of leather and this leather mini is such good value. It's only five pounds, I believe. Let me just double check that. No, sorry, eight pounds. How good. And I love the fact that this is in a nice coffee color, like to match my latte. Um, really, really nice. Love that color. And I feel like this will go with so many different things. I either wear this with like a shirt tucked into it, like a blousey shirt, or with a jumper and um, just so easy that with tights and boots is such an easy outfit for me and I just love the way that looks all these tones are like my favorite ever love that they had this skirt in so many different colors as well and they also had lovely little kind of mohair style skirts too with belts love them but I never got any because I never had my size but yeah again I'm not trying this on so we'll see what it's like once I've got it on it is supposed to be a mini skirt and that's obviously what it is but I just feel like if I had gone up maybe one or two sizes on this, I would be much more comfortable because it's sort of pulling here, which is fine for a mini skirt, but it just, it looks a bit too tight. I feel like if it was maybe one or two sizes bigger, I'd be much more comfortable. And obviously I'd plan on probably wearing this with tights as well, but I'm just not really happy with the sizing in this. I feel that it's just a bit too tight. And if it was a bigger size, it wouldn't do that kick out thing at the back. And equally, I would be able to wear it a bit lower down as well, just so that it wasn't just as short as what it is because I've got two kids to run about after. Like, I'm not up for the whole flashing of the bum thing. So I think I'd actually be better off getting this in a different size. I'm gonna switch it where I switch the trousers at the same time. <laughs> like, you're gonna see this color so, so much through all of my hauls for autumn. But oh my God, how lovely is that? Now I got this in an XL. It is quite a big and slouchy fit and I'm hoping hoping that the sleeves and this are going to be massive so I can properly turn them up and have them like really oversized. I love that really nice oversized slouchy bare look and I feel like this would look lovely with like my black leather leggings, some boots, even trainers like Converse. I just love, love, love big slouchy knits. And I love this one especially because it's got that kind of diamond design in the middle. It's like a fisherman's knit. You know I love a fisherman's knit. I say it like every time I do a Primark haul and I've got knitwear in it. And I also like the collar because it's like similar to what I've got on just now. It's not a roll neck, but it's just nice and high, gorgeous, really nice. And this one I can wear as much tan as I want with and it's not going to transfer, which will be great. And this came in at, £10 and they had so many colours. I kind of wish I'd gotten a black one so I might go back in and get a black one because they had black, cream, grey and then a white as well so the cream and white and I think I stood at that little jumper counter deliberating for about 15 minutes as to what colour I was actually going to wear but I actually thought this would look nice equally with the trousers for a colder day so I could wear like the jumper tucked into the trousers like I just think that would look really nice together I mean all of these tones that I've got I've especially picked for that whole capsule wardrobe feel so that I don't have to have hundreds of stuff and um, even though there's quite a lot of stuff <laughs> I don't need to have loads and loads and loads of colors if I have all like you know colors that can mix together really well it means I get more use of what I actually buy and then let me just show you the trousers again but in black so these ones were, again they're 15 pounds but these are just the black version they're really really shiny and just cool like they're matrix vibes I love these so much and I feel like these are definitely going to be a staple for me if they fit nicely and I'm desperately hoping that they do because they remind me so much of the Zara ones and I just hope that they fit nicely and I got these obviously in the cream and the black and then what I thought for the black ones is I would instead of getting a jumper to go with them although there is a jumper that would go nicely I wanted to get a nice checked plaid shirt for wearing various ways but also to wear it with 
those trousers. So I thought those trousers with this really massively oversized top for me, I mean I got this in a uh, 16. So I'm hoping that it'll be, you know, it's oversized already. So I'm hoping that it'll be like more oversized on me because it's a couple of sizes up. But I feel like that shirt, you know, a little bit open off the shoulder, turned up a bit, tucked into those trousers would look really, really cool with a tan. Tan is so important. It, honestly, I feel like when I'm not tan, my outfits just don't look the same. It's so silly, but it's true. So anyway, yeah, this little shirt, I feel like I could wear it so many different ways. I could hopefully just wear it with leggings. I could probably just wear it with dresses over the top of, tied up, like so many different ways to wear shirts. So this one was £10 and I love the colours of it because it had the brown through with also the black and the white. Um, not just being like a stark like gingham black and white or buffalo check as they call it in the states. Now these are the black trousers and it has suddenly just occurred to me that I have bought these other ones in a bigger size. These are my usual size and they fit so much better. They honestly feel like a glove really comfy kind of relaxed it feels like i'm wearing a pair of joggers but like you know just a bit more dressy really really love that and i've just teamed it with this gorgeous plaid shirt which i've just kind of like loosened off a little bit let it go off the shoulder a bit more relaxed um and yeah just really like the way this looks the belt is so cute i love a debuckle i think it's dead retro and like and I'm not, I just really like it, I think it looks really cool um, although you could obviously add your own belt if you wanted to um, this shirt I think is the perfect size, it's really nice and baggy which is what I was looking for I think this brings me to my last jumper which is actually sad days there were so many nice ones but I didn't want to go massively overboard what I might do is go back in, get another few and then do like a collective here are all the jumpers that I've got for Primark Autumn Winter this year and um, but this jumper here I got in a large it is eight pounds only how good but it's a kind of oversized and then it dips at the back like a dip hem I think they called it something like a circle hem jumper I'm pretty sure that's what they called it but I just love the fact it's again in these lovely warm colors really nice that would look lovely layered underneath it, like a leather jacket or something. I feel like that would be definitely something I would wear it with, with even jeans um, and brown boots. Just really nice and cosy. And again, this came in so many colours. I honestly spent so long at that little table trying to decide what colour I was going to get this in. But I feel like because I'm brunette, this kind of coffee brown really brings out the tones of my hair maybe. So I love that. I actually think this would be nice as well for wearing over a shirt dress so that you can have the collar out. I've actually got one in mind that would look especially good with. It's a black one and I think if I had this over it, it would look really cool. Okay, so I know it's really plain, but I absolutely love this jumper. I feel like I would definitely reach for this most days and um, just with it being so like baggy and plain and just like a nice color and soft, I feel like I could wear this really well with a pair of black leather leggings. So I'm gonna get some just now and show you what that looks like. So these are my black leather leggings. If you want to know where they're from, I'll leave a link for them below. I feel like this kind of outfit would be a classic everyday go-to for me this time of year, just a nice baggy jumper kind of like sleek leggings and then a nice overcoat would be lovely with some boots of course and yeah really love this for eight pounds I might go and get the other colours next time that I go back. Guys moving swiftly on to dresses they had loads of dresses and I must admit I used to be the bodycon buyer this time of year and I feel like it's sad because it's kind of the dress I really, we don't get on. Me and Bodycon are not friends. I feel like every time I wear it, it just shows up every lump and bump. I don't feel confident in the Bodycon dress. But equally, sometimes I hate the fact that I wear dresses that just drown me. Um, but with that being said, I decided to get a couple of the more Bodycon shaping <laughs> dresses this year because the colours and the knits were so perfect that I just couldn't actually pass them up. I wanted to give them a try and see if I could get away with it. And also I've got a couple of cardigans that I thought that maybe if even I wore the dress with a cardigan over it, it wouldn't make me feel quite as self-conscious. So the first one I've seen, oh my god, this colour is the best. I love this. This dress is so nice. The only thing that I have to critique it on is that I don't think that the loops at the side for the belt look too good. But the colour, 
the rib detail and the fact that it's so slim on the arms I feel could be amazing. I really hope it's something that will suit me. I just think that chocolate kind of berry, oh it's just so rich looking, I love that colour so much. And this is a midi dress with splits at the side. So I feel like you can wear that either with tights if you wanted to or because it's quite long you could braid the legs out with a boot. Even just like a biker boot would be quite cool with that. I've got some really nice mock croc biker boots that I got from Matlan. I'm planning on wearing with this. If I keep it, that is. And this was £13. So I think for a dress, that is such good value. And it's got this little tire on it, which at the moment I'm not loving. But I do have another few belts as alternatives. That if I don't really like the tire with this, then I can obviously swap it out for a belt. And then just take off the little loops without making holes, hopefully. I think this is the first time I've worn bodycon in about 500 years and I actually like it. This is good. I do not feel like a potato in this. I actually feel quite good. I don't know what it is about this dress but it's the rib maybe or the fact that it's got a little belt to kind of like hide the momentum. This is good. I'm actually happy with this and it has longer sleeves. Like I'm so happy with this dress. I know that it's not perfect. I'm actually really happy with it. I feel like this is the moment I was waiting for this autumn to be able to wear a tighter jumper dress and actually feel comfortable. So massive win. Yay! Ever since I seen this on my friend Kate's Instagram, I have been on a mission to find it because I think this looks so expensive. It's the print at the bottom, not really so much the top part. It's this print. This gorgeous cow print looks so expensive. She wore it with a little belt in the middle and it just honestly, it looked so nice. I could not believe it when she said that it was from Primark or that it was actually like a jumper and skirt attached as a dress. I mean, that is just genius. Um, this was, I believe, £13 and I think I got the last one because I've never seen it in there today. This is from a few weeks ago but I've still not worn it yet. I've still got the tags on. And it's this lovely, really, really nice, slim fitting, thin fitting jumper at the top and then attaches into this absolutely beautiful cow print skirt. I, mean, I never ever thought I would be saying cow print skirt and beautiful all in one sentence, but here you go. It's so nice, isn't it? That kind of looks, I just love it. I just really, really love it. And see that material as well. It's that really nice, thin, blousey, viscose material. I think it's always so flattering on people. I just really love it. It's nice and floaty, but not too, it's not too flouncy. It's just perfect. I cannot wait to wear this. And I can't believe I've actually managed to not wear it up until now. I mean, that's a bit crazy to me. Oh, I just love this one so much. I absolutely love this dress. It is my favorite, I think of them all. This print is just so nice. I love the way that it fits and I like the fact that I've got a three quarter length sleeve just so that I don't feel paranoid. I mean I probably just pull these up a little bit just to definitely make sure it's three quarter length and not that just that I've got big massively long arms but I do really like this dress and I feel like a wee belt wouldn't go amiss so hang on one second and let me grab one. This does actually come in a different print as well but they never had it in my store just this one. So pleased that I found it. Now this dress is for wearing with tights or wearing with leggings. It's kind of that hybrid between jumper and dress and I just love a grey jumper. Who doesn't love a grey jumper? It's just the best. This jumper has got these little buttons in the sleeve which I don't know if I'm a massive fan of to be honest with you. I think it does slightly cheapen it but love this jumper. I feel like if they never had that on it, it would be super plain though. Like I can see why they've done it. And then they've got this lovely big slouchy neck and then it is just a huge big jumper dress. Just very plain. At the moment when I'm holding it here, it feels like it would be yeah, over the knees, but I'm quite happy with it being like that. Like I'm not really that bothered that it is long, but I feel like this is definitely going to be my snuggly, like I've eaten far too many hot chocolates and caramel shortcakes kind of jumper, do you know that way? This is my Monday jumper when the diet is starting. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I actually got this in a size large, um, which I wanted to have this as a nice kind of oversized piece. But again, I could wear this with leggings or I could wear it with tights and boots. So kind of like two different ways. So hopefully it's not too long. It doesn't look too crazy wearing it with leggings and with trainers. And it was 15 pounds and it did come in another few colors as well. A really gorgeous berry color. But because I already got the dress, I feel like too much berry. Yeah, we need a wee bit of grey. 
Now, I know this might seem really, really basic in like a big baggy dress, but that is exactly why I love this. I feel like this is the kind of thing I would reach for most mornings if I was going out for the day going shopping and just wants to be nice and comfortable, but still quite, you know, dressed up stylish. I think that I might actually leave the tights and leggings out of this one and just wear it with a bare leg, but with some boots, like ankle boots, something similar to these, something like that. Um, just so I've got a bit of leg on show, because otherwise I'm completely covered, or a thinner tight would be quite nice with that. Just so you can see, like it's not all just like I'm covered in black. I think that would look really, really cool together. But I really love the big massive collar on this. So nice and snuggly. Um, and then I actually do like this detail. I know I said I thought it was a bit cheap and tacky, but I see why it's been done. Like it is quite nice, sort of military three buttons. But yeah, love this. It's so comfortable. You know, some jumper dresses are quite itchy. This one is not itchy at all. So it's nice, really gorgeous material, nice and soft. And yeah, I like the fact that I've gone for something grey. This neck is honestly the best, hiding all the chins. This next dress might be a little bit difficult to show actually because it's like maxi, but it is like this beautiful rusty mustard coloured shirt dress. I love a shirt dress. If you don't already know me, then like you'll soon learn. Like this is my favourite kind of dress. If I ever have a last minute occasion or something I need to go to or I need a last minute outfit, I will always, always search shirt dress because it's that kind of level of smart with the collar and the little sleeve and you know, it just always, always works for me. Don't know why, but I just always go for a shirt dress. It just, I don't know, it just makes me feel like very, very secure in a shirt dress. But this one is gorgeous because it is so long and then has this lovely frilly detail at the bottom. Now, I know that autumn might not feel like maxi wearing weather. Maxi wearing weather. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like maxi weather, but maxi shirt dress and boots. I feel like every single like minute of this video, I'm just constantly saying and boots and boots and boots and constant boots. And there's not a single pair of boots to be had in this haul. But you know what I mean? This time of year, it's always and boots. So. I feel like this with even like biker boots or a heeled boot, whatever, would look really gorgeous. I would love to see how that looks when I try it on. Hopefully if it fits okay, because it does look quite narrow for my size. Don't know if this is going to fit me, but hopefully if it does, then it will definitely pay off. And I think a maxi dress with a kind of like jumper over it still always works as well. So we'll wait and see if I can pull that one off. But um, yeah, I feel like this is a really nice look. This color again, just is nice and cinnamon-like and just very warm for this season. Love that. And this was 15 pounds, which I think is an absolute bargain. You can also get this again in different colors. If you, this is not your color, then I think they did have it in a sort of red and then the black as well and black always goes with everything so yeah love this and love the collar i may actually put a wee brooch here just turning into a full-blown cowgirl over here she gets a cow print dress and all of a sudden she's wearing lasses and brooches in me and my big chest what the hell now apart from the complete obvious which is that this does not button and close nicely therefore in the bigger size. What are Primark playing with with trying to make me paranoid about the length of my arms? Like, what is this? <laughs> Honestly, I always joke and say things like, oh my arms are really long and I could probably scratch my ankles without bending, but this takes the absolute biscuit. Like, <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> I am going to go back and try and get this in a bigger size because I do quite like it. I mean, it is a little bit Little House in the Prairie, I'm not going to lie. I do think it is a bit old fashioned for the want of better words, but I think I could make it work. Black leather bomber jacket and a pair of black croc military boots would be quite cool with this, I think, if I did it right. So I think I'll just take it back and get a bigger size and see how that goes. But failing that, I mean, the arm thing like bigger size, longer arms, I don't know, we'll wait and see. Remember I said I was looking for a nice cardigan to wear with that super tight bodicon dress? I feel like this might not be the right one, but it was kind of the only one that I could find that was long line and didn't have loads 
of buttons on it. So this one here is just a khaki number. Now again, I don't know if this is going to work. I really need to try it and see, but it is still a gorgeous cardigan and I feel like I'll still keep it anyway because it's nice for with jeans, etc. But it's just this really nice. I'm always so awkward trying to show it like this. I'm better just trying it on, but it's this really nice cardigan. It's very, very soft and doesn't feel like it's going to scratch me. I got this in a size medium and it was 13 pounds, but I just think, oh hello, I just feel like a long line cardigan with a pocket is definitely like, it's a go-to. It's an easy thing for awesome. pair of leggings, a nice t-shirt even, and then a jumper over it or a cardigan over it. It's just a nice, easy thing to wear. And I love some khaki as well. And I didn't have anything khaki really in this haul, so it had to be done. And then speaking of leggings, my absolute go-tos are the Primark and Gym leggings. These are six pounds, I think. Yes, yeah, six pounds. And I hope they never ever put them up in price because they are so good. I literally get a pair every time I'm in and these ones have holes at the side. Now, the ones that I got, I'm saying they're good, but I actually ripped them right up the bum. <laughs> they didn't properly rip in half. It was literally like a ladder you'd pull in your tights. Um, so that was a bit embarrassing. I did get a new pair to replace them and they are so stretchy. They really, really hold you in and I just love these leggings. They're not only good for the gym, they're good for just wearing with any knitwear, they're just good for wearing in general day to day and they're really, really tight and they don't fall down, which is definitely a bonus. They're that really nice sort of like no seam, seamless type of leggings and like I say, I got these in a medium which comes up at 12, 14, so that's the size I get in them and I feel like they do definitely stretch when you wear them, so don't go too bigger than your usual size because they'll end up not fitting you by the fourth or fifth wear. Let's move on to some comfortable clothing. Honestly, twice a year I swap out all of my sort of summery type of pyjamas for wintry ones and as much as this isn't the full haul, my arms were breaking by this point. I honestly think they need to start putting trolleys outside of Primark rather than those little pull along things like they're not suffice for what we actually need them they really need to have trolleys i mean can we campaign for this because i feel like it needs to be a thing especially at christmas time so i should have got a trolley because all of these gorgeous sets i could have taken one of each literally so this is the snuggle pajamas they're good as a present but how nice to me from me I love these. I'm actually going to put them on as soon as I'm done filming because they look so cosy. So these were £8 and I got them in a size large. I definitely size up on pyjamas but then need to watch because if they don't have tyres in the bottoms they just fall down. But these are gorgeous. I'm going to take them out of their little pack and show you them properly because it is trousers and a top. So these are the full length fleecy trousers and they're just so cute they're actually cuffed slightly at the bottom as well which i love and then the top is just a regular jumper style long sleeved top and it's just so cozy and i love the fact this is quite like the jumper that i got for wearing with those cream leather trousers i'm a little bit disappointed because they never had the matching colors for these but I ended up getting these two tones and hoping that they would kind of work. So these are the bottoms. I got them in a large and they've got tires on so you can pull them in. Or in fact, have they? Oh no, it's just for decoration. This is not going to end well because they're probably going to fall down all the time, but never mind. These are the softest. I feel like I say that all the time, but they really are the softest kind of brushed jersey trousers. And these were six pounds which i think is amazing for loungewear they had lots of different colors of these and lots of different sets the loungewear was amazing i feel like that could be a whole video on its own just pre-mark loungewear so love these and then i also got this top to go with it which was five pounds and i got this in a medium it's just this nice little plain gray top and it's really really cozy for just getting into when the day is over and maybe you get friends in and you don't want to be sitting about in your actual jammies on but then are they really friends if you can't sit about in your jammies on? I think not. Um, to be fair, uh, it's just a plain top. You could actually wear that out. Like I would go to the shop and get snacks with this on, not gonna lie. Um, but then sometimes I wear my slippers down there as well. Getting into a whole new different subject right now, so I'm just gonna put this away and show you the next thing I got, which was definitely required. I really, really wanted to get myself a new dressing gown and at £11, how could I say no? There is so much dust 
<laughs> everywhere just now. How could I say no for £11? This is massive. It's a double XL, which for me will probably be quite big on me. But I feel like if you're not getting a massive dressing gown when you're buying a dressing gown, then you're doing it wrong. Like you literally need to size up two, three, four, five times, as many times as you can. So you feel as if you are literally wearing a blanket. That is the end goal for me, definitely, especially winter time. Oh God, this is so exciting. It has a hood. I didn't know I had a hood. I think this is the best decision I've made today, is getting this, <laughs> this hoodie, this hoodie, this dressing gown. So this is £11 for a massive, I need to put it on right now. If anyone's looking for me past six o'clock every evening, I'll most likely be like this. I look like the abominable snowman, literally like a yeti. This is the best dressing gown ever. It's huge and it's full length, which means it's kind of down to my calves and I'm happy about that. I love this so, so much. I'm going to be covered in fluff now, but yeah, love this dressing gown. Again, a great idea for a Christmas gift if you're thinking about getting someone jammies and a dressing gown, like £19 and you'd be sorted with that little set right here and this pair of slippers, like that's such a good gift. It who knows. And then back to more respectable wear, I'm going to show you a few accessories and a pair of shoes as well that I got maybe two weeks ago now. So first lot of accessories are some oval cotton pads. I used to always just buy the little circular ones, but until you change to the oval ones, you don't realise how much circular ones just do not cut it. If you are a fan of a cotton pad to remove your makeup, then I would definitely recommend switching to an oval if you're already on a circle. What what even is this channel becoming? What am I talking about? <laughs> These are 90p for 100 cosmetic oval pads and that is all I kind of have to say about that. So these shoes I got maybe about, what are we on now? Probably about three weeks ago and it was for my brother's birthday party and I wanted to wear something that I was definitely going to be able to wear again and not just like a stiletto heel. Like I would wear these with a pair of jeans like you know go for lunch or something like that but they are so comfortable like seriously supportive with all the straps and they were only 14 pounds and they came in black too so if you don't like the brown they have them in black and i get loads of questions on my black kind of strappy shoes like this that i wear quite a bit they've got a lower heel and they were from matlan probably about two years ago now and they don't have them anymore but these are a very, very similar alternative, but just with a higher heel. So if you're looking for black ones with straps, then they do have these in black, but they're so, so comfy. They've got these little bits of elastic at the sides to kind of give you stretch when you wear the straps over. But when you've got nice tanned feet and you wear a dress or, I don't know, a pair of jeans or nice like leather trousers, oh, those leather trousers, the black ones with these, and then the brown jumper would be really nice. Love that. So yeah, these are only £14, which I think is an absolute bargain. Talking of boots, I desperately want to go back in again. I feel like I'm just gearing myself up for Primark haul round two already. But I want to go back in again because they had the nicest suede knee-high boots in like a really gorgeous, what colour? It was like that kind of colour. Not great, it was like an oatmeal beige. Oh, they were so, so nice. And they never had my size, I only had sevens and eights and I was devastated. So I definitely want to go back in to see if I can get them because they're so nice. Anyway, another thing I got, oh, let me just grab it from the floor, are some scrunchies. Um, yeah, I just feel like a little scrunchie never ever really goes amiss. And plus they're easy to have, like I've always, oh not today, I've always usually got a bobble on my wrist, like it's the standard joke. So this three pack of the camel coloured ones are £2 for three, which I think is really good and they're in this lovely chenille fabric. And I'll definitely be using these for little buns or low ponies or half up, half down hairstyles. Really, really nice. Love them. Fill on hair care. These are 
something that I tend to always have. I can't find any just now, they just disappear. It's like socks and carpies. These just go walk about, so I'm pretty sure the kids play with these and then bin them. <laughs> but these are very, very good for doing like hair ups and then just giving yourself a bit of extra volume at the back if you're doing like a half up, half down hairstyle. Or they're also very good for if you do a bun and you want some extra volume, you just, just kind of clip it into place using these and they're only a pound. So I got the black ones. Usually I get the tortoise, tortoise, turtle, tortoise shell. Remix. Usually I get the tortoise shell ones, but they only had the black, so I just got the black. Not a big deal. The last hair care item are a total blast from the past. I used to wear these all the time when I was a little girl. I used to always want curly hair for like school, Christmas parties, Halloween parties, friends parties, any kind of social gathering when I was younger and we didn't have GHGs. I would have bendy rollers or lie i would have the carmen girls angel curls did anyone have that please tell me i'm not the only one sitting here who has had the carmen girls angel curls wand that thing was such a miss sale they had the girls in the front cover of that little box with the proper ringlets like this party ready and my poor mum used to spend honest to god hours and I had curly hair so it wasn't even as if you were fighting a straight haired girl here no I had curly hair and my mum used to sit for ages with that winding my hair around it pressing the steam at the top frying my hair like within an inch of its life and then taking it off and holding it till it was cool and it would still go straight it was like a rat's tail and it's honestly such a shame anyway I digress that and the crazy braided who had that as well that was another one but Anyway, I had these when I was younger and it is bendy rollers. Um, create curls, waves, body and volume with these. Um, I'm going to actually show you what you do with them because you will actually not believe it. Oh, these are the extra large ones. Looks like that's my fingers. <laughs> well, because these are the extra large ones, you pretty much only really need to do this. Just split your hair into two. And then I'm going to take a section at the front first. And then when you get to the bottom, you just bend it back on itself like that. And honestly, that looks like it would never achieve a thing. But the result of a bendy roller curl, if you spray this with some stuff and then leave them in for even like, I don't know, an hour, even go for a shower actually with them, that would be good to get the steam into it. I feel like you need to maybe roll some of it from the bottom and then you can catch the end in it. Ah, that's what you do, that's what you do. Right. And then roll it up. And when you get to the top, just bend it. Bend it down the way, actually, because then that'll stop it from curling back down. Voila! Probably about three of these in each side, and you only get six in a pack anyway. And I mean, I've got a lot of hair, to be fair. And this would be easy enough to have in. I mean, I look a picture, I know. It's just, it's such a nice look. <laughs> I could go to bed like this because I've not really got any at the back. Sleep comfortably and then when you wake up in the morning, take these out, I may actually do this tonight and then share a picture on Insta stories in the morning of how it's turned out and it obviously it's not going to do anything in that space of time, but you get what I mean. Like, it definitely is a good way to do something with your hair without adding any heat to it, um, which is nice. I know you're probably not convinced and thinking that these look mental, but they actually do work. And I will prove it <laughs> over on Instagram stories because I just feel like a failure now. So guys, that's the end of my pre-mark haul. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, then please don't forget to hit subscribe because if you're not subscribed, you'll not see any future ones like the new jammy one and the new boots one and all the other knitwear that I need to get as well. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any in the future. Like this video if you enjoyed it as well so that I know to make more of them and make it a monthly thing again because it used to be in it's not been recently and it's sad and I will speak to you on my next video. See you soon. Bye.